We are at Nimbus Fish Hatchery today, which is owned by the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation and operated by CDFW uh, here in Rancho Cordova, California. Uh, Stephanie, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on here at this hatchery. Are you doing uh, conservation aquaculture, recreation aquaculture, scientific aquaculture? You know, what type of stuff is happening here? Well, that's a really great question. And we, we do all of those things here at Nimbus Fish Hatchery, which has been here since 1955. Um, and we try really hard to meet the needs of the wildlife and also of the people that, uh, that like to enjoy the wildlife. So here at Nimbus Fish Hatchery, we raise two species of salmonids. We raise Chinook salmon, as well as steelhead trout. Upon entering the fish hatchery, we see raceway tanks filled with salmon and this fish crowder, which is used to keep fish in a specific area. Before salmon are released into the wild, a large percentage of fish are marked in trailers. Let's go see if this one's operational. Inside this trailer here, we have um, salmon coming in from the raceways getting sucked in, putting in a, uh, inside a trough up here. And once they're inside the trailer, they're gonna get sized by a uh, camera and they're gonna get um, sorted to a specific line. There's six lines inside this trailer. Uh, my job is essentially to make sure everything's working uh, to size certain fish. And once they're in there, this is what's getting injected in their face. Um, there's about, it's actually in their nose. Yeah, there's a little pocket, uh, they, I've done studies and stuff. It's a, a fat pocket, essentially, in the front of their nose. And this wire right here, there's 10,000 of them on this spool, um, gets cut to about a millimeter, and it gets put right in their nose. Um, each, um, each tag has a six-digit code, so you can see here, 062362 is written three times around the diameter of this wire. It's lasered in. Um, uh, yeah, and so once they get uh, tagged, they also get their adipose bin clipped all simultaneously within seconds. As, um, fish come in through there. The deep water device, and uh, this is the trough they'll sit in. There's another fish pump right here. There's a valve at the bottom. They get sucked in through here. You can follow them up onto the ceiling, uh, and then they get put. Then they get put into these. And then you can see right here, there's cameras right here, and it's measuring the density of the fish, and that's what I can control. Um, these are the shoots that they're getting measured down. There's a camera on this side, there's a camera on that side. And as you can see, as, um, as you can hear it sorting, they're getting measured in half a second, um, all simultaneously. And so when it's green, it goes to a certain line. And in California, we only um, fall Chinook. For the most part, we tag 25% and we just count the other 75%. Um, so every time it's green, it goes to a line. Um, this is every single line uh, behind us. This is, if you can see, this is the back of the fish. Let's see if it comes up. That's the back of the fish and that was the fin. It got clipped right there on all of them. You can see, see it comes up. Back of the fish fin, gone. So that's what's happening, and then as that's happening, it's getting that wire that I was talking about uh, in their, uh, uh, their snout. So the fish, once they get sorted, right here, comes down through these pipes into here. And this is one of the VEs, they just, they're all, these are all roughly the same size. Uh, granted, there's some mist sorts, um, but roughly they're all within five or six millimeters. Uh, and then they're gonna go through here. Right here is the channel that they're gonna go down. You can see them right here getting lined up. They're gonna, they come down. 
And then this is where they're getting clipped and tagged. This right here is clipping them down there. This machine is clipping them, but you should be able to see the fish enter in right into there. Yeah, and then this, like I said, this machine is the one that's tagging them. Um, I'll show you. Maybe. This is the camera right here. There's a little reflector plate, but it's the looking straight at it that way. That's what you see up there is this camera looking at the fish that way. And so that's when you see the arch of the fish. And you can see these are all the motors. Um, they're all doing something else. Um, these control the upper and lower gates over there. There's this one and this one. Um, these control the clamps that hold the fish together. Uh, fish goes through and it holds it. That's these. Uh, let's see. These two, there's a trap door that allows, once the fish is done, it drops down, drops the fish. Um, this up here is in charge of clipping the fish. It's uh, just a motor that it'll move it and then bring it down. Um, and then we got all sorts of circuit boards that's in charge of it. Um, we got camera lines, uh, sensor boards. Um, I don't know, there's everything you need in here. <laughs> there's a lot. So the cabinet, yeah. uh, yeah. Let's show you what it looks like. This water's just in this triple two. Um, after a few minutes, they get knocked out enough to where you can handle them. You put the fish in upside down on these ones. I clip it. Okay. It's tagged, so then you're gonna throw it down here. And right here, these are uh, they're called QCDs. Essentially, they're uh, the metal detectors. And there's a little flap right here, a little trap door. Um, and once the fish goes through here, it detects the tag inside the fish. This little flap will open and it'll get sent out um, to the raceway. It's done. Doesn't detect it. It doesn't flap over and it goes right to here. Wow, that certainly wasn't what I was expecting. We've seen so much already and we haven't even gone inside yet. Be sure to like and subscribe and click the link here to see part two of our Nimbus Fish Hatchery tour.